If you're planning to head out to Lake Isabella this summer, there's something the Department of Public Health wants you to know about when it comes to recreational activities. Here's 23 ABC's Brianna Polk with the details about potentially harmful blooms in the lake. We may find ourselves boating, tubing, or fishing here at Lake Isabella this summer, but one thing to take precaution of when in or around the lake is cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae. Public Health says this has the potential to harm not only adults and children, but pets as well. What this really is, is this is naturally occurring uh, algal blooms that happen in bodies of water, and certain things like how warm it is, how much the water is moving, how many nutrients are, you know, feeding these blooms. These all play a role in producing these potentially harmful toxins. Michelle Corson with Public Health says on a monthly basis, the department goes out to the lake to conduct tests. Most recently, they tested 16 different areas of Lake Isabella and found that the Hanning Flat and Tilly Creek boat launch areas tests had the presence of blue-green algae at the cautionary level, which is the lowest level of the three advisory levels. However, Corson says just because it's at the lowest level doesn't mean it isn't potentially harmful. If you were to come into contact, um, you know, you could have everything from a, a more dermal exposure, which means you're maybe going to have a rash and some burning. Or if you were to ingest this, you could become sick and nauseous, vomiting, uh, anything like that that you are concerned about. You're going to want to seek medical attention. Corson says not only should you be looking out for yourself, it's important to keep a close eye on your dogs while visiting the lake because they too can be impacted. Because our dogs are going to be more likely to go out into that water. They can potentially ingest that water or when they get out of the water, they often will lick their paws and their fur and then they ingest it that way. And that's when it becomes more dangerous and of concern. And if you do plan on fishing at Lake Isabella, Corson recommends that you throw away the guts and clean the fillets with tap water or bottled water before cooking. We're at just the cautionary yellow level at the moment. Uh, that is, um, if we get to the higher levels, we say to avoid fishing altogether. So um, this is, again, something that we want our community to watch that signage, kind of read what those warning signs say and the steps that you could, should take. And for more information about areas of the lake impacted by blue-green algae, we have a link of Public Health's interactive map on our website, turn to 23com In Lake Isabella, I'm Brianna Polk, 23ABC News, connecting you.